Hi, I'm Louise Pennington, the Professional Development Leader for Numicon at Oxford University Press. And hi, I'm Claire, I'm the founder of Play Hooray and mum to five-year-old Mason. So we're here today to unbox the Numicon um, First Steps at Home kit. But before we do that, I just wanted to ask you, Claire, a quick question because you're such an expert and uh, a passionate advocate of play between adults and yeah. children at home. So can you explain why you think that's so important? Yeah, I'm a big fan of play. I think it's, it's vital for children to be able to practice those skills and all the experiences in a really playful way and have lots of fun with it too. And it's also really great for parents to bond with their child and add routine to their day. Thank you. Uh, and that's exactly what the premise is that sits behind yeah. um, the first steps of the Numicon at home. So we designed this for parents and carers and other adults to have a really positive start to mathematics in the mm -hmm. home environment. So Numicon is an approach to teaching maths, as you know, Claire, um, and it's based on the concrete pictorial and abstract approach. So the concrete is the manipulation of, of real things, so things that they're in the box here. Pictorial phase is the pictures of those things, um, diagrams, um, jottings that children might make. Yeah. And the abstract phase is the way we're talking now. So thinking and talking in abstract, so using numbers and words. Mm -hmm. And the running through the theme for Numicon is that math is active and fun, mm -hmm. and that there is a conversation that happens in some communication. So I think this is the perfect way yeah. to start with exactly what you're saying about that positive experiences at home. Yeah. So it's designed to be used for children who are aged three to five. So I know you've been using Numicon at home with Mason. Yeah. So can you explain how that supported his early maths development? Yeah, definitely. Well, I've been a big fan of Numicon actually for a while because uh, before I had him, I was teaching. So I used it in the classroom with young children and could see for myself just what a fantastic resource mm. it was for teaching math and number. Um, and so decided to purchase some for myself to use at home with Mason. And he's loved it. He's loved it from a very young age as well, actually. I think the shapes and the pieces are so vibrant and yeah. inviting to touch um, that they're playing with them without even knowing that it's they're learning at the same time. It's lots of fun and they're so versatile. You can use them in so many different ways, like adding them to a water tray and making pictures with them and all sorts of different things. Um, but it also, I found that Mason was commenting on what he was noticing and patterns, which plays a big part in learning and understanding number. And I think they're so tactile as well. He loves uh, being able to hold them, you can stick your fingers in them and all sorts. And it's a really visual way of fully understanding number and the value of the digits as well. Brilliant. Yeah. Shall we take a look and see what's inside the box? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> So first of all, we have the Numicon shapes, which you said that uh, Mason's well versed in using. Yes, yeah, love these. You call them shapes rather than pieces? Yeah, that's right. a great question. So um, the Numicon materials call them shapes, but okay. they are obviously different to two-dimensional, three-dimensional shapes. Yeah. Um, some um, teachers in school call them plates or tiles okay. or pieces, like yeah. you said. And it doesn't really matter to us what people call them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we do refer to them as shapes. Yeah. But they're obviously the representations of number rather than, you know, your triangles and, yes. and other shapes. Yeah. Yeah. So if we just grab the first two. Okay, yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Perfect, well done. Lovely. <laughs> I've been practising. <laughs> so we can see that the Numicon shapes are different colours. Yes. Um, we can see that they represent numbers. And also, as you've put them out beautifully in, in the order that they go in, we can see that one more concept, can't we, of the yeah. number system. Yeah. And then later on, obviously, we can start to think about the odds and the evens, yeah. um, which is quite nice. But also, we're getting a sense of, of four. So this mm. obviously is four, has four holes. Um, and it's one less than five because five's got one more. So yeah. it's a really nice representation of, of otherwise abstract concepts, which is early number. And the same shapes are used later on um, for more complex maths, so things like fractions and even algebra. So Wow. Um, <laughs> so obviously they're really useful to get to grips with yeah. early on, as we've said. Yeah. Mason, my little boy, likes to do finger painting and being able to put them inside the holes, which is uh, quite which a nice is activity. A lovely activity. And also then when you move the shape away, you've got the four. Mm, so yeah, it's really nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And it's the arrangement, isn't it, as well? You can see that four is, is two and a two. So yeah. it's, it's really useful to think about the shapes in that way. And then we've got the pegs. Now we love these at home because my little boy, Mason, he'll pick them out and he just loves sitting them into the shapes like yeah. this, yeah? 
which is perfect because then he's doing the kind of matching because this is a fixed picture for five mm, yeah but if you put the pegs in you're building the pattern for five as well yeah, so yeah both important in terms of you have a pattern that you can build but also you've got a fixed image and you'll notice there are only these four colors so we haven't right. got the colors that match the shape so oh, that's okay. on purpose yeah otherwise children as we you know yeah. would go for this color to make four and it's important that children see it's not just the color that makes four it's the arrangement of the pattern okay so the pegs yeah as, as you said perfectly fit on the shapes and we can stack them up as mason mm. enjoyed stacking them up to make towers. yes yes yeah. making the towers <laughs> and then knocking them down again <laughs> just what you'd expect yeah. but they're also really useful for pattern making as well so okay. like you've pulled a few out so we could have a pattern that starts with yellow green yellow and then what's the next one going to be i see yeah so we can work in that way but we can also use the laces right so um so the laces um, are really good for the, for the pattern work, but yeah. also we can think about you know using other skills. So we're looking at fine motor skills here. Yeah. So if we had um, a red one at the bottom, we could do a red, yellow, red, oops, yellow pattern. And I might ask you to um, tell me what's the next one going to be. Yeah. So we've got Lots red, yellow, red, yellow. What's the next ah. one? Oh, perfect. There we go. <laughs> Uh, but I could also ask you to get another one and, and copy mine. So yeah. there's different skills that yeah. we're working on there with the Another pegs. Idea. So really nice um, addition to the kit. Yeah. Okay, so I've noticed this, but we've not actually used this one before. The zigzag oh, book. Oh, the zigzag book. Yes, yeah. so the zigzag book is actually um, a number line. Okay. So this side obviously has the Numicon shapes on. Now we've just arranged them in that mm. way. But it also has the numerals that match. So you've got the picture for the number two yes. but you've also got the numeral so that's the number line side and then the other side Claire um, is an interesting oh, one yeah. because it has items and the Numicon shapes we've got the, the numeral the item and then you know the, the, the Numicon shape as well yeah. and this is important because it's not just to do with the, the picture for three being here but that any collection of three things represents three so we're just building that concept knowledge around the numbers yeah. so some nice collections that aren't arranged in, in a structured way yeah so it's lovely. nice we've got you're working on um, shape recognition the the concept of, of the number but also the numeral at the same time and whilst we're talking about numerals you also yeah. picked up the numeral cards which are um the abstract way in which we represent numbers so if we kind of worked on collection of items for four yeah we had the numicon four shape yeah um, and then we had the number so we can kind of work on that so the counting the concept development and the numeral all together so Lovely. quite a nice bit of, of kit to work together yeah and nice that you could use it with the shapes and the pegs as well actually isn't it absolutely right okay so the next piece in our box is the feely bag yes <laughs> <laughs> so has mason used the feely bag no he hasn't great so the feely bag um really supports children to visualize so if we're thinking about what we want children to do long term in terms of remembering um bringing concept the front of their mind and then to kind of hold and manipulate numbers yeah we need to support them in that so the yeah. feeler bag's really good so if you want to lay out the shapes again okay and i will um get matching ones to put in the bag there's five shapes in the bag the same ones we have here so what i'd like you to do claire yeah <laughs> is can you find me without peeping can you find me at uh, the number four? Oh, okay. And so it's thinking about what it looks like and what yeah, it might feel yeah. like. And so it's having a really good feel of the different shapes. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah. So I did it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and then the children can put them on top if you want to. So I it means see. that we're, we're kind of working to empty the bag. So a good feely bag technique would okay. be um, to put two hands in the bag. Right. Um, and this supports children, one, in their memory, so they're touching the shapes with mm. two hands. So it helps them with the memory. But also, if they're um, using the feely bag to find the right shape, um, they can realise, oh, I've got three in my hand. Mm. You asked me for the four, so I, I can move it to the side. Yeah. And so I go back to the pile and I can kind of do a sorting and matching activity. Yeah. So I've got, oh, this one I think is the five. It's got a sticky up there at the top. Not that one. Um, so then I'm going to go, oh, I think I have it. Yeah. So here's the four. So two hands in the bag if the children are physically able. Um, it supports their memory and success as well because we yeah. can do a sorting in the bag at yeah. the same time. I love that idea. Yeah, definitely going to use that. Never thought of putting doing the two hands in the bag. Thank you. So we've not got much left to unpack. No, yet. let's see what's left. Okay. So we've got the overlays yep. and the baseboard. Yes. So the baseboard looks like a big packet of paracetamol. <laughs> 
it does. <laughs> it's actually 100 square. Right. Um, and the raised um, studs, if you like, yeah. we can work either with the shapes so children can um, explore filling the board, mm. um, you know, trying to leave no gaps or things hanging off. So it's quite nice to work on some spatial skills. Yeah. But also, as you will have seen, that we have some overlays. So this one is um, a lorry. I think and these are brilliant. They're two sided, yeah. aren't they? So yeah. they've got the very stylized cat yes. on the other side. Yeah. And then there's different steps in which you might use these. So obviously, um, has, has Mason used any of these? The truck. The Always tr the truck oh, yeah, is a vehicle fan. So There's quite a few of the um, kind of truck and <laughs> transport related yeah. ones. It's well used. So yeah. um, the way I would start would be I would put these shapes, the ones that are needed just at the side. Okay. And then I would introduce some extra shapes that aren't needed. So I might put put a four in yeah so he has to do sorting and matching not just okay. matching and then what you can do after that is, is use the feely bag so you can put these shapes in the feely bag and then ask him to find the green number eight okay so he's still working on that visualization yeah. as well and then again add some extra shapes that you don't need so he's doing the sorting mm. in the bag as well so they're really nice aren't they yeah they're lovely the it's overlays. a great way of um, <laughs> extending it for him get him thinking yeah i love yeah. that idea and there's quite a few of them. It's quite nice that they're, when they're done, you can tell when they're finished yeah. because the shapes are all are all in the picture. Yeah. And this one's obviously got the rocket and the stylized cow on the other side. <laughs> okay, so finally I've noticed, now these are the seaside themed resources. Yeah. So um, I don't know if you've used these at all. So there's a little uh, parent booklet. So this gives you some guidance on how to use both the CD and the little book. Okay. But the important part is that this is a maths picture book. Um, Numica at the seaside and so it goes through um, pictures and so there's lots of talking mm. what can you see how many uh, before behind so all that position of vocabulary which is really nice then we have a similar layout to the uh, zigzag book that we use yeah and it's quite nice you've got the position on the hands the one in terms of numeral the word and the numicon picture yeah and then these are actually songs claire so right don't know how you're singing this <laughs> not good <laughs> well that's fine because if you don't fancy singing then the cd rom has them all on uh, okay <laughs> so this can obviously be played but it has the different songs for the, the ten numbers so it's a really nice way to introduce the numbers through through the medium of the books and, yeah. the, and the singing yeah. so it's a nice little addition to the kit really yes oh definitely anyway bringing number to life i think is uh, fantastic yeah loads of different things you could do with it are there any sort of guidance for parents looking for ideas oh yes of course the one thing we haven't looked at okay is the um, actual booklet right. so this has got the activities in so this is the introduction okay and then uh, the getting started advice, which shows uh, parents and carers what's in the box and how it can be used. So yeah. it's a reminder of what we've been through on the video already. Yeah. And then they're into the activities. So getting to know the shapes or some familiarisation, working on pattern. Lovely. And then obviously some of the things that we've done. <laughs> through to order. Counting and then towards the back, there's some calculating activities. Um, which will support the children into kind of that early addition and subtraction.